Today I am super excited because a bunch of us bloggers have come together to share apple recipes. We did this last year and it was a lot of fun, so we're doing it again this year. And I've got a brioche apple spice bread pudding today. It's going to be super easy and super delicious, so let's get started. My name is Chloe. I write a blog called Boxwood Avenue. We share everyday inspiration for farmhouse living. We hope you'll subscribe below. I love growing my own food, but come harvest time, I always feel like there's just so much of one thing. Like right now we have tons of zucchini and we have tons of apples. So I'm gonna try and use up all of our apples. And today this apple spiced, bread pudding recipe is just going to use a few of them, but these are nice and ripe and we just picked them off the tree. Brioche bread is my favorite kind of bread to use for stuffing and for bread puddings If you and French toast. If you've ever made homemade stuffing with brioche bread, you know just how delicious it is. Around the holidays, I know Trader Joe's carries it. We have this pre-made brioche loaf at our grocery store, so I just took it out of its package and I let it sit last night so that it could dry up a little bit. We've got apples from the tree. I'm gonna cut this into bite-sized cubes and I'm going to peel a few apples, I'll dice them up and then I'll saute them and simmer them for a little bit with brown sugar and a little cinnamon and vanilla. And then we'll mix all of that together with some milk and eggs. We'll put it in the oven for about 40 minutes and then we'll pull it out and enjoy. For our sauteed apples, we are going to use an entire stick of butter, so this is definitely not a diet recipe. And we're going to heat that up, melt it, and get it so that it's just starting to bubble. And then we'll add in our apples and our sugar and all of those, the rest of the ingredients. Okay, our butter is all melted down. It's just barely starting to bubble. So I'm going to pour our apples in. This is about four cups of apples. Yeah. You hear that? It's like magic. A quarter cup of brown sugar. A sprinkle of cinnamon. However much you like. I like a lot. A little splash of vanilla. And we'll turn this on super, super, super low so that the apples soften. We've got our apples simmering, they're softening, we've got our bread prepped, and now we're going to heat our milk. We don't want our milk to boil, but we do want to take the chill off. So I'm going to take three cups of milk, warm them up over the stove, and then in a supper bowl, I'll get my eggs going, and then we'll whisk them all together. We'll put that with the bread and apples, and we'll bake. Start with just four eggs. This is kind of like making French toast. So in my little egg mixture here, I'm going to add some more cinnamon, a splash of vanilla, a half cup of brown sugar, and a half cup of granulated sugar. And by now our milk is probably just at the right point. You don't want it to be boiling because then it's going to cook your eggs. You just want to take that chill off.
putting out of the oven. It looks and smells so, so good. Before we cut into it, I'm gonna make a quick little glaze to drizzle over the top, and then we're gonna slice into it and take a bite. For the glaze, I'm just gonna do half a cup of powdered sugar, a little vanilla, and about a tablespoon of milk. I may add a little bit more milk if it's not the right consistency, but I'll start with the tablespoon. Trader Joe's has a, a bourbon syrup. That would be really good drizzled over the top of this too. If you've never made bread pudding before, it's such an easy treat to throw together. It's great for a Sunday morning brunch or for a nice dessert if you have guests coming over or something for the holidays. I hope that you guys follow along our Seasons of Home tours and our Taste of the Season recipes. You can head to my blog to get all of the recipes. I know that they're all gonna be delicious and I know that you guys will love all of my blogging friends. I can't wait for you to check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you subscribe below.